Good day, YouTube. This is Jay Money with Falling Ford Financial. Uh, just um, a video here on uh, one of my favorite MJ stocks. Um, I uh, did uh, one or two uh, MJ uh, videos here tonight already. Uh, as you follow my channel, uh, you know I talk a lot about uh, MJ here, so I just feel it's got a, got a great future ahead. Uh, whenever it does um, get legalized on the uh, federal level, but um, uh, whenever that happens, who knows? Uh, but it's got to happen someday, and I just feel these are um, going to be uh, exploding at some days. But uh, this is uh, my favorite um, uh, here as of, I don't know, probably the last couple months. Um, this one just got listed here on June. I've been covering this one since it was H-I-T-I-F, H-I-T-I-D. Now it's on the uh, major exchanges, so I mean it was eight dollars and seventy nine cents um, it has not hit that since um, it went on the major exchanges but uh, everything from February of 21 to today is uh, down so um, but this is high tide uh, you can see what it's done over the uh, last year not much down over 55 percent in the last uh, three months down over 32 percent this is kind of some interesting action there so and it's down again since then down over 12 percent in the last month down 9.72 percent in the last week and here's a look at today so it's in the green so i was watching this one and i was trying to figure out what was going on with it i was at work but i uh, couldn't break away but I was watching it from here, and it just dropped, and then it would shoot back up, back down, and it did that a couple times. But I don't know why it's not showing that right now. But um, I have, uh, looks like, 43 shares of this one here, and there's my cost basis. And I didn't think I had that much, but I guess I do. Uh, if you don't know much about uh, High Tide, uh, this is a uh, MJ... Uh, stock. I will go ahead and link my uh, other videos in the description as well. But uh, love some of these brands: Canna Cabana, New Leaf, Meta, Kush Bar, Grass City, Smoke Cartel, and CBD City. So, found in 2009. Volume still not much on this one. 100 and we'll just call it 170,000. A little bit more than the average of 155. Market cap of 243 million and a 52 week low of 365, high of 1097. Here's a look at their uh, next earnings coming up on the uh, 17th, so that's interesting as well. Uh, looks like here's some canceled orders at 386. 380 was low ball on that one, so this one actually fell at 492. But. Yeah, this one's even been down here as of lately, but um, over here on uh, Microsoft Bing, currently showing this one as a buy. High Tide to acquire Crossroads MJ, adding four established MJ retail stores in Ontario. And just a shout out to uh, my Canadian uh, listeners, um, getting about 10% of the... Um, um, views and subscribers in Canada which is always good because I uh, talked about MJ a lot and a lot of these are in Canada so uh, but again ticker HITI they are a leading retail uh, focus MJ company with a uh, brick and mortar as well as a uh, global e-commerce so the best of both worlds every time I uh, talk about them they open up a new store or two so that's um Always good to see. So they're pleased to announce uh, taking yet another step to it expand its brick and mortar retail MJ operations by entering into a definitive agreement pursuant to which uh, High Tide will acquire four operating uh, retail MJ stores in Canada. Under the Crossroads uh, MJ store uh, for 2.5 million, the uh, store, and that's in Canadian. They are located in uh, Stratford, Woodstock, Hanover, and Markdale. Stratford store is located in a retail plaza anchored by a national uh, discount grocery chain. So if you've been to any of these, go ahead and list that in the uh, comments as well. That'd be interesting to know. Woodstock store is located in a shopping center anchored by a large national home improvement store. The Hanover store is located in a power center 
with numerous anchors including National Grocery and a big box retail chains. Markdale Store is a well located immediately beside the provincial uh, liquor retailer and the three months ended on December 31st, 2021. Crossroads generated annualized uh, revenue in Canadian of $7.6 million. Adjusted EBITDA and so on. Feel free to pause and uh, go over the rest there. High Tide uh, subsidiary Fab CBD launches subscribe and save discount program in the United States uh, market. Uh, so High Tide is keeping a close eye on the U.S. market, uh, waiting for that federal legalization to hit. And this is uh, just stated, uh, as you can see, yesterday. So uh, Fab CBD subscribe and save. So again, they announced today that its subsidiary Fab CBD has launched a CBD subscribe and save discount program in the United States. Under this program, customers will be able to customize their orders each month to suit their specific needs with items from across all Fab CBD product lines, including oils, gummies, topicals, pet treats, and superfoods. Uh, customers will also have the ability to customize their delivery frequency for each individual product in their order and range out every 2-10 to 10 weeks, allowing delivery frequencies to optimally match each customer's needs for every product. So, very cool. Uh, that's what I like about this one. It not only has the uh, storefront, but it also has the uh, website. So, best of both worlds. Uh, everything's going online and has been online. So, why not make money online as well? So, in addition, uh, by opting into the subscribe and save discount program, customers will receive a 20% discount for life on all Fab CBD products that they purchase so 20 percent discount for life you can't beat that beyond improving uh, convenience and savings for a customer the uh, new subscription service will also present a uh, distinct financial upside for fab cbd by enrolling uh, customers into a service in the auto renews uh, orders they anticipate uh, boosting its lifetime value uh, per customer beyond the current level. Furthermore, the service will allow Fab CBD to cultivate a recurring revenue stream that will be much more predictable than when customers only had the option to manually place their orders. So, another very good thing. So, and that should um, predict the uh, stock as well. So, hopefully, so. But. So again, the long-term focus of the company can be evidenced through their rapid growth of the uh, Cabana Club loyalty program, as well as subscription services such as those offered by Daily Hut Club and New Leaf Naturals. So feel free to pause and uh, go over the rest, or else you can go right to the source on Yahoo Finance. And here's um, some more information about uh, High Tide. When I first started covering them, I think they had about 80, 85 stores. And now they're up to 112, located in Ontario, Alberta, Manitoba, and Saskatchewan. And again, here's some of their brands. Um, so, I mean, they just got a lot going on. They got um, websites. The uh, stock price hasn't dropped like a lot of them. I mean, it is down, but it... Um, you still got to give them respect for just continuing doing what they're doing, the websites, and still growing. So, High Tide launches MJ Delivery on Demand at select Alberta Canada Cabana stores, expanding Ontario retail footprint. And this is just uh, 14 hours ago, so delivery on demand. So they launched the uh, MJ Delivery on Demand program at select uh, Canada Cabana locations in Alberta. Through the company's delivery on demand program, uh, customers will be guaranteed delivery within two hours. Wow. Of uh, placing their order or in an hourly time slot chosen by the customer between 12 and 8 p.m. outside of a two hour window. 
High Tide intends to further expand delivery service across its Alberta store network in the coming weeks and allowing private sector led MJ e-commerce and home delivery Alberta has shown its commitment to helping regulated MJ retailers effectively compete against the uh, drive out illicit market operators by launching delivery on demand Canna Cabana locations in Alberta we can now offer our Cabana Club members in the province access to our unbeatable prices on MJ and consumption accessories from comfort of their own home so what more could you ask for to stay home and get lit and just <laughs> pick up the phone or pick up your phone and hit the website and make an order and have a party and you can get another order in uh, two hours so just uh, crazy and that's why another reason why I love this company the company simultaneously announced the opening of its Kenna Cabana retail MJ store located at 440 Herb Street West in Waterloo Ontario High Tide's 113th branded retail location across Canada and 34th in Ontario kicked off sale of recreational MJ products and consumption accessories on Tuesday. This is another great thing that I like. The uh, store will also be High Tide's third to open in Waterloo Region, one of Ontario's fastest growing metropolitan areas with a population of over 575,000 people. So there you go. A lot of good stuff going on with High Tide. And here's some more about the uh, delivery on demand at select locations in Alberta. And this just came out today, so we'll just lightly scroll through for those of you who like to read it on uh, Yahoo Finance. There's their delivery on demand. So e-commerce is what it's all about, and home delivery and brick and mortar with this one so they're just uh, covering it all so it's kind of like Walmart meets Amazon meets um, UPS or FedEx and you can get your delivery also opening of a new retail MJ store in Waterloo Ontario and here's a little bit more about High Tide if you'd like to uh, read that again if you uh, missed it the uh, first time. So, moving on over here to Reddit. Selling THC and CBD two months ago. Let's see if there's any updated recent information here. Not much. Over here on a stock twits currently at four dollars and nine cents with a fifty two week low of three sixty five high of ten ninety seven and I have no doubt that it's gonna hit that again so with all they're doing um just give it time and be happy why they're down uh, it gives you time to uh, buy more that's how I look at it so and again I don't give tax legal or trading advice so I'm not telling you when or what to buy or what or when you have to do that on your own so and I'm holding that one, so <laughs> not going to part with it. Brick guy. Let's go for high tide fam. See you keep it rolling tomorrow. Over here on MSN Money. Currently showing this one as a buy. This one's always had great ratings. That's another thing that I like about this one. So, and currently at four dollars and nine cents here on Tip Ranks with a moderate buy and 122 percent upside to 9.11, high of 12.58, low of 5.70. So, and we're not even at the low. So it's got to hit it again someday. So, but that's all that I have on uh, High Tide. So I think anything below four dollars is a buy. That's how I look at it, so it's got to go back up. So, But that's all that I have on this one. If there's any other MJ stocks out there you would uh, like to see a video on, I would uh, be happy to put that together for you. Comments are always welcome. And if you haven't smashed that like button yet, go ahead and hit that for me as well as subscribing and hit the bell so you're notified of when the next videos drop. 
Again, this is Jay Money following Ford Financial. Happy trading, happy investing. Stay green. Cheers.